When Steve came to so two do open doors, he opened the door on his left. However, there was no single person in the main room either. Another way to disbelief, Steve decided to go to his boss's office. Steve went upstairs to his boss's office. What are you doing? Mm. But Steve just couldn't do it. Why would his boss even say to him? Steve knew that in a competitive company, leaving your post could lead to getting fired. Why take that risk? And all because everyone else had to vanish? Why would his boss even believe that? No, he couldn't say that. His boss would think he's crazy. Maybe I am crazy. Steve thought to himself, what else could, could this happen? As Steve pondered and he started to feel strange. As an example, why couldn't he see his feet? Also, his rooms were strangely familiar. Was he going around in circles? N no. This can't be real. This is just too strange to be real, he thought him to himself. At least Steve came to the conclusion and he realized he was suddenly dreaming. Oh, what a relief. He thought to himself, his co-workers weren't gone. He wasn't going to be fired, was he? But then, the strangest question entered in and he said, why is their voice in my head deciding everything I'm doing and thinking? Huh? Why is that? He said to himself. Now is their own voice describing itself being described by Steve. Then Steve realized that most people don't have voice in their head. While they dream, don't they? Mm -hmm. In an attempt for him awaking to this dream, Steve closed his eyes. But Steve couldn't fall asleep or wake up after closing his eyes. Steve began to panic and yelled out, Wake me up, everyone! Someone to tell me! Yeah, to himself. But no one replied, and as Steve was enveloped by cold darkness, he repeated himself, I am here and I am real, to himself. This is the story of a woman named Mary. After work, she would often come by and visit her husband, Steve. Steve went into a coma after getting injured in by war. After one day, he will wake up. But that day was not the day. No, no. That, that doesn't seem right. Steve would never wake up from a dream. This isn't a dream, isn't it? Ow. No, it isn't. <laughs> Um, anyways, um, how I, what if Steve was a real person? Maybe, maybe that will help him, right? Mm. <sighs> Let's start over. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Steve knew that as well. 
Maybe you want to stop by employee lounge. Maybe just to admire it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, we're more it was worth the detour to stop by in this place. Steve suddenly stood there, drinking it all in. God damn it. <sighs> Eager to get back to track, Stanley turned to her store on his left. Fuck you. Steve was just so bad at following the red chance. It's a wonder to see what he will do next. Look, Steve. We didn't even start on the wrong failure. I'm not your enemy. I'm really not. I realize it was a really difficult thing. And all of that. But, yeah. Please stop. Please. What really? I was a mad fucking talking. I don't know how to come to you in this. Maybe I'll show you about something beautiful. Let me prove it. Are you gonna let me talk or not? Now listen carefully, Stanley. I mean, Steely. Go to the blue door. God damn it. Thank God you are willing to listen to me. Wow. Don't you see that I am really one to make you happy? We really have problems because all these choices. Two of us. We're trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Don't you think running around all of this place was killing us? I only want you to stop, please. I think the solution here is this. Let me show you. It'll be beautiful and peaceful. Just like you. I'm here. Let me... There. <laughs> See? Look. God damn it! Come, come on! Goddamn commercials! Stop! Ah! There! There. Ta da! Relaxing and peaceful. Uh huh. Um, uh, oh, and here! Isn't this beautiful, isn't it? Steve, in the place and this moment, I, I feel happy. Isn't this bizarre?
Steve, what are you doing? You know if you fall off, the game will reset, right? We'll lose everything in the game. Just, just please, stay away from the edge, okay? Steve. Steve, stay! <laughs> Fuck. P please, no, Steve. Let me stay here. Don't, don't take this away from me. I can't go back where I was before. P please don't. Please. Why are you doing this? P please. I beg you, please. Please. Is, is this how you just like my game, Stanley? I mean, Steve. Do you want to lose everything? Am I in the solution correctly? We're just getting kicked in the way. This one has to get along. I don't much to ask. But the choice is yours. Steve! Steve! Being a little rough on you lately. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 